At just seven years old, Emily Whitehead was fighting for her life. She was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia and discovered that her cancer was resistant to chemotherapy. In 2012, she received a cutting-edge cancer treatment still in development, and it saved her life. It's a new frontier in medicine called CAR T-cell therapy, a type of immunotherapy that provides immune cells with re-engineered proteins, kind of like a weapons upgrade, so that they're better equipped to fight cancer. The immune system is our body's internal mini-army, a complex network of organs, tissues, and individual cells that protect us from invaders like viruses and bacteria. T-cells are like the soldiers of the army, but their natural state is sleep mode. That's where dendritic cells come in. They act as military intelligence, gathering information about potential threats. Once detected, they activate certain T-cells to destroy the identified invaders. Some of these T-cells activate B-cells, weapons factories that release millions of antibodies that join the fight. The immune response is usually effective at protecting us from harm, so why isn't it able to defeat certain cancers? Well, it turns out that killing cancer is much trickier than killing any normal pathogen. Cancer cells are the body's own cells that have gone haywire. When their DNA instruction that regulates cell division is somehow mutated, they start dividing uncontrollably, invading the rest of the body and causing serious health threats. Since they were once healthy cells, they often pass under the radar because they're not recognized as foreign enemies. What's worse is that they actively disguise themselves to evade detection, but their disguises aren't perfect. In Emily's case, some of our B cells have mutated into cancer cells, and it just so happens that we've found a protein marker exclusive to B cells, called the CD19 antigen. CAR-19 therapy equips T cells with a weapon called anti-CD19 chimeric antigen receptor, which locks onto this antigen and activates T cells independently of dendritic cells. It's a fusion of various segments taken from different proteins. The target binding domain is from an antibody, which can recognize and attach to CD19. The transmembrane domain is embedded into the surface of the cell. The signaling and activation domains reside inside the cell and trigger several responses, telling the T cell to kill and proliferate. Since CD19 is found on both cancerous and normal B cells, CAR-T19 targets every B cell in the body, so patients are given doses of antibodies to make up for their loss of ability to produce their own. Emily's CAR-T19 therapy started with getting her blood drawn so doctors could extract her T cells. Then, using a lentivirus, a DNA blueprint for the CAR weapon was incorporated into her T cell's own DNA. Once her T cells were successfully re-engineered, they were multiplied into millions and re-injected into her bloodstream along with the antibody doses. Her cancer was no match for these newly trained killing machines and she experienced a complete recovery. Now, five years later, she's living a healthy life, still cancer free. Recently, scientists have proved that this approach can lead to complete remissions in up to 90% of BAL patients and are developing new CAR weapons to target other cancers. There are still many challenges to overcome, but soon this kind of therapy will be able to help thousands like Emily, and science will have brought us one step closer to finding a complete cure.